for What are you doing? Twerking. Yes. For the world. <laughs> Get down. Hey guys, it's Drew here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with <laughs> Are you already nervous? Yeah. This is my mother. Hi. Her name is Delena, if you were curious. Yes. Um, and today, I saw this guy on YouTube, his name is Magnus, which I love his channel so much. Shout out to you, Magnus. He did a video where his dad guessed the prices of his clothing items, and so... Oh, I should have watched that first. Yeah, you probably should have. Um, and I thought that it would be so funny to have my mom guess the prices of my clothing items because she kind of has a general sense of how much money I spend on clothes, which is kind of like a lot, but also, I feel like she doesn't really know the amount of, like, the amount of money I spend on individual pieces. Like, she probably thinks I buy like a thousand pieces for the amount of money I spend, but I really buy like... You'll have to see in this video kind of how much money I spend in the Great, piece. really? Yeah, I kind of find it. It's my money though, so it's fine, not yours. Oh, and my mom actually has an Instagram account for our dogs, and his, her Instagram username is Jemmy the Bulldog. So I I'm giving you a shout out. I'm that. giving you a shout out oh, on the screen right care. here, right here for they her. Really um, you can follow her on Instagram if you want to, but you don't have to because she only posts like once every month. And it's pretty much the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's all of our, it's the dogs. So. I don't post me. Yeah. <laughs> and we're currently filming in my brother's room, but honestly, like, let's just get into this. So I kind of brought like a random mix of clothing from my wardrobe back in LA. I brought it back home. I'm home for Thanksgiving, by the way, if you guys didn't know. And I'm just gonna hold up pieces, and you are gonna have to guess the lovely prices let's start off with this pair of jeans here so this is what it looks like they look like Levi's um well they, they zip like all the way to the butt they are Levi. They have butt zip they're all a way. Levi correct yeah a Levi wow I'm really smart I did not even that was a good guess okay a Levi so what do you think this? They zip though. Yeah, they zip all the way around. Like they're called my easy wow. access. Easy access. That pants. is so <laughs> disgusting. Do you wear these? Yeah, and I call them Lots. my easy access pants. I always. You, I've never seen a photo of you in these. I will insert a photo right here. Okay. I wore them literally the second to last but Instagram photo I posted. Levi's are normally like thirty, forty dollars or something. So probably because they zip around, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna say seventy or eighty dollars probably. Because they did the whole zipper. Yeah, Zippers should I tell you how much? I had a zipper redone on one of my jackets. It was $20 <laughs> just for the zipper. Yeah, I guess. Want to know how much so it was? So I'm going to say $80. $1,200. No, no, they're not by Levi. I got them on sale for $290 at Barney's Warehouse, which was like 70% off the retail price. How could they be $1,200? Because it's Bot Ma. Everybody, See, same, I knew the name. I heard Bot the name Ma before. is this, the same guy that does Bot Ma, does Balenciaga. Okay. Right. So his clothes are just expensive. <laughs> Next piece is this nice and bright yellow top here. That is some yellow. And the brand for this one is Eckhaus Lata. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. $200, $150? $150. Oh, yes! Ding, 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 ding! I win! Woo! Next, let's do a little bag here. This is an off white bag. Oh, off white is so good. I did not I buy that. this. I know, I know off white because I wore your off white. James bought this for me for my birthday. Aww. So I did not buy this piece, but I mean, if I was to buy it, you have to guess so the price of it. Probably, I'm going to guess $1,200. I literally think it was $1,200. Are you serious? <laughs> I win again. How do you know these prices? I don't know. I actually don't I even have know the no price idea. of this. Call James, he'll tell you. Uh, he might not it was, gift. It was it was literally Don't ruin my fun. It was twelve hundred dollars. It was twelve hundred and forty dollars. Twelve forty on essence retail price. High five! Woo! Ding ding ding. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this. This next item is a hoodie and it's layered. What it's kind of cropped it? a little. Okay. It's got color right there. Yeah, no, it's just no, it's, it's just faded, I think. And it has is no it strings that? in it. The brand is called Gosha Rubichinsky. Is that like um, German or something? Something like that. I actually don't really know. It's Russian. I bought this online from London from the Dover Street Market. Why would you even find that? Because I, mean, I saw like Hypebeast post it. Yeah, it's like a really cool trendy uh, brand. And I really like this sweatshirt actually. $150? It was $400. $400 for that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like, I've only worn it like that? once. It is that still a good trendy name or something? Yeah, it's still cool, but like I've only worn it like twice because it fits good, but the mm -hmm. sleeves are kind of weird because they're super wide mm -hmm. and it kind of like cuts really like tight that. and then it hangs over my arm. It looks kind of like a, like, right. I don't know, Blousey. like an uncircumcised penis. Ew. <laughs> okay, next item. 
of like this. I know. But it looks too small for you. It no, looks it's like a, it would fit. So it's from the brand Saint Laurent. It's supposed to be tighter because it's supposed to be like perfectly form fitting. So mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to gain weight or and wear this jacket. So I have to stay the same weight. I'll never get um, it. And it's made of corduroy. And it says Je Tiem here. Is that what that really says? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's in miss. It's missing embroidery and it came off or something. No, it's in French. There you go. So, how much do you think this jacket cost? Like sixteen hundred dollars. That's a lot. Is that too much? But I mean, it was that, just that name brand. To me, it looks like honestly, it looks like this should cost probably a hundred dollars. <laughs> but because the name tag is on, I know the price just went up. <laughs> so how much did it go up to? It went a thousand dollars up from sixteen hundred. Oh, it was twenty six hundred. And I bought it at Holy full cow. retail price. I've had it for probably like uh, over a year and I've probably worn it like 50 times throughout the year. Like I wear it a lot, a lot. I so like I actually it. get a lot of use out of it. Every video I do a little ASMR in. What's ASMR? Ew, gosh, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to this little piece here. It's just like oh, a shirt. It looks like it's from H&M or somewhere. It's from a brand Forever called 21. ASOS. ASOS. Somewhere like that. And it's reclaimed it vintage. Like, to me it looks like normal. Something normal. But look at all the graphics. Like can you at, see? Like can you see with your eye vision? Yeah. I know it I has really eyeballs eyes. on it. Can you see the eyes? Yes. And the mouth, bite, lift. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of material is it? Mm, probably like not a good one. Like it polyester like or something. Too, yeah, that's what I was saying. It didn't look like too It feels nice anyway. though. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to say probably like $30. It was 50 oh, so good. Yeah. That was close. Right? Yeah, you really bucks. were. It was $50. <laughs> So Drew did baby pageants all the time, and he... I was unaware of this because I was underage. <laughs> you were underage. I was a toddler. Anyways, he did a lot of baby, baby pageants, and he won a lot of stuff. And he Yeah, I remember a... being like seven years old and having like 200 trophies. Yeah, his trophies and medals. I had like literally like 200 trophies where like my friends would come over and be like, why do you have so many and trophies? Was... And the trophies yeah, would be like yeah. as tall as the ceiling. They like they'd be all the way to the ceiling. They were like five feet, six feet tall, but the funny yeah. thing was is that... Well, it's actually not funny. You won a lot of money with um, saving bonds and stuff. And then you lost it all. She lost, well, we okay. We moved in like the whole file of all of his money. And How much you think bonds? of money? I remember this, but. It wasn't a ton, but honestly, you would probably won like, I don't know. Yeah, I could have bought all these clothes with that. Probably, because it's probably like eight to $10,000, and then it grows. You get it for that price, and then when he's 21, I mean, that doubles. So it's probably, could have been $20,000 of money that we lost when we moved one time. That would be his debt. That's just a fraction of what I spent on clothes last year. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to these. Boots. A pair of boots. A suede boot. A suede booty. It looks like it needs to have a spur on the back. <laughs> a spur would oh, be good. Oh, illegal. Yeah, Absolutely. you would like it. No spur? Um, Sperm? Ew. <laughs> Are we doing that kind of a video? No. Gosh, tree freak. <laughs> Freak of nature. Um, who is the boot made by? Because I might rest Saint Laurent. Oh, <laughs> see, the price just went up. Automatic two thousand dollar increase. I'm gonna guess at this boot because it's a Saint Laurent boot. Ew. My mom says brand names when what? I'm like, look at my new Saint Laurent. She's like Saint Laurent. How, and like, how, and you how say, did I just say uh, it? You said, oh, I guess this is a Saint Laurent boot. And you also say, I'm like, mom, this pants are vintage. She's like, oh, vintage. <laughs> Oh! Okay, so Saint, how do you say it? Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Well, it's actually Saint Laurent. That's what I said, and you didn't <laughs> like it. That's exactly what I said. Actually, you got it. Because it's a Saint Laurent boot. Okay, so this boot probably would be a bare minimum of $1,400, probably. It was a little less, actually. Was it on sale? And I have it in two was colors. It on sale? I have it in black and I have it in brown and I have it in silver. Have you ever thought to wear just one of each color? You could wear a black and a brown. That is actually kind of a good idea. That, I know. See, that's where he gets it from me. But my black ones, I think I showed you guys my channel before. The whole heel is broken off because I wore them so many times. Um, these were, were twelve hundred. They're like eleven ninety. So that's pretty close. Yeah. So I guess the tax are like thirteen hundred, even closer than what. So are those like this year's or last year's? Or? Oh my gosh, that little what? thing is still on the wall, guys. This is my old bedroom when I lived at home. What that thing right there? Yeah. You should get it. I'm gonna go them. pull it down really quick and show you guys. One eternity later. This is a SpongeBob. What is this snail's name? That's I, bet I made this when right I used now. to do scrapbooking. That's how you got started doing your DIYs. Yo, this is a Tommy Hilfiger um, shirt, and it's mm -hmm. velvet. Oh, so you have to 
It needs to stay velvet. No, it feel doesn't. Like, because you would you never know touch by me. Push me and then just touch me. You would never know by looking at it. I just thought it was it's like... It's just um, flocked. Well, you would never How know. much do you think this costs? Well, because it has flocking on it now, I think the price just went up. Mm -hmm. Um, Probably like $80. It was 50 Oh. This is a windbreaker, and I hope that you guys can see the way that this looks. It looks crinkly. The brand name here. Is it supposed to look like this? Can you read? No, I don't have on my glasses. I oh, can't read nothing. Can you see that at all? No. It says Givenchy. Do you know that brand? Honestly, probably because of the name. This this was probably two hundred and fifty dollars. I got this at a thrift, thrift store. I for knew it. Twenty dollars. <laughs> this sweatshirt here. Have you seen me wear this before? It says Antwerp and Belgium. It looks like it's like. It is. It is. It's cut it's and then it's re sewn. Like yeah. It's Why would they do that? Is it's that just redone. Be, and then the that's hem, supposed to be cool though. Yeah, and then right? the hem on the bottom is kind of like at different lengths, which you gives guys it like some this? interest. I like it. That's why I purchased it. Can you like write on Instagram or whatever, YouTube? Mm -hmm. And or I won't, I, I feel like I don't really want to tell you the brand name I want to know one, so you kind of just you have, guys think that's really I cool. mean, if you want to, you can try and read the brand name because oh, you I can't can. read anyways, so. What is it called? I'm not telling you. You, just have, to, you just have to guess oh, on this one. Because the brand name kind of gives it away. Yeah. Well, if somebody took the time to make it all crooked and lopsided like that on purpose, probably it's worth a lot of money. I'm going to say probably, mm, $550. This was $1,150, but I got it on sale. But I'm not going to tell you how much for it because it was still a lot. But yeah, this is what the sweater looks like. And the brand is Seven for All Mankind. I really like the knit and I like how thick it is. I know, is. isn't it kind of soft too? $180. Wow. What? Was it was it close or am I like $1,000 away? It was $185. Ding, 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 ding. How do you know that? Okay guys, that was all. I hope you really enjoyed this one and I will catch you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give this one a thumbs up and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye! Bye.